G. Patnubay at gabay ng magulang ay kailangan sa mga batang manunood. Hello, a very warm welcome back to Bilbao, Spain for the third and final game here in Group C on the opening day of the 2014 FIBA Basketball World Cup. It is the United States against Finland. And folks, if you could come into the arena right now with us, you're going to see a lot of excitement, a lot of people coming in here to show up to root for the United States, but also an incredible crowd to pull on. To, to root on Finland. Here's how the teams have qualified in this tournament from their various zones. You see that the USA qualified by winning the Olympic gold medal. And if you look over there in the wild card column, Finland, who had an impressive Eurobasket last year while finishing ninth, they claimed one of the four wild cards that, that were presented. So they definitely start as the underdogs tonight. You saw earlier today that Ukraine broke open a close game and beat the Dominican Republic 72-62. And Turkey came from behind twice to beat New Zealand 76-73. Uh, they trailed by 12 points. I'm Jeff Taylor, and I'm joined by George Zedek. And George, you, you have an opinion about these rankings. Well, I, I mean, the rankings, USA, number one. I mean, undisputed until they lose. But then it's Turkey at seven, New Zealand at 19. The Dominican Republic and 26, Finland 39, and Ukraine at 45. But I think, Jeff, outside of the United States, that they right there in the first spot. I think everything goes out of the window. And we got five teams in a dogfight for another three spots after the United States to go to the next stage. Well, hello, everybody. You're looking live inside this uh, arena here in Bilbao. We're going to see the teams being introduced here before the FIBA Basketball World Cup game between Finland and the United States. And you might be able to tell quite a few people have made the trip from Helsinki and all over Finland. This is a major event. And George, it's a team without question that is underdogs, but there's some exciting players in this Finnish squad. It is a team, exactly the word that you said. I mean, if you want to single out some players, I would go with Petteri Kopponen, who is a superb shooter from almost anywhere on the floor, but he can also bring the ball up the court and he can put it on the, on the floor, so he would be the all-around player that they have. On the inside, I would probably go with the legend, Hanu Mottola, who retired from the national team. A very inspirational story. He came back because he thought that he could help the team, and he did in the European Championship last year when they finished ninth. A Cinderella story there in Slovenia. And of course, he had a serious knee injury as well last year. He's battled back because he didn't want to miss this event. Clearly one of the highlights of his famous career, a legendary player, without question, uh, Hanno Matola. Also played in America, played in the Final Four, and played in the NBA. But here he is with his national team, the team he loves more than anything else that's coached by Henrik Detman. You can just make him out there in the pack of uh, coaches over there on the Finnish bench. But the Finnish fans now will also watch the USA is there introduced Stephen Curry uh, take your pick who, who do you want to highlight in this because they're all superstars I mean where do you start with the team you say they are loaded with talent and potential at every position and you can pretty much name any player to be the team star I think there's a little bit more experience on the perimeter I would say with Harden Curry Rose or Irving I think they are young and restless and full of potential under the basket for Reed Davis Drummond or Cousins I mean, just superstars of their respective teams with the NBA. So I think it just all depends how they gel as a team. And that's, they've been saying it all along. It's just all on us. Four times the United States have won the title. Finland making their first appearance. David and Goliath. <laughs> that's what I would say tonight. It's going to be something else, folks. It's going to be a wild ride here. Certainly at the start, this place has an electric atmosphere, and Coach K knows something about that, doesn't he? I mean, he, it, he coaches it. in Durham, 
Duke University plays in front of packed houses, but as the coach of the USA, he also has a, a great job, and he gets to coach in front of these types of crowds. Now we're going to have the playing of the national anthems of Finland and the United States. First Finland. Coach Detman, they're the French fans, they're everywhere. Now for the Star Spangled Banner of the United States National Anthem. Impeccably observed, really, by the Finnish fans. The uh, national anthem, this game will be played in a great spirit. Coach Krzyzewski and Henrik Detman uh, ex exchanging uh, handshakes there, or shaking hands, as well as the Finnish players and the USA players. You see Derek Rose has fought back from those serious injuries that kind of ruined his last couple of seasons, but showing what he's all about to what come an, back and make it into this team. What an you see the referees as well, George. From Spain, from Cameroon, and Uruguay. Miguel Perez Perez, Arnold Com Mijlo, and Alejandro Sanchez. What an inspirational story that you talked about with Derek Gross after two serious injuries. Well, welcome to the 2014 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Uh, Finland's roster. Henrik Detman, quite clearly, uh, is going to go deep to this roster tonight. He's going to play a lot of players. It's going to be interesting to see what his starting five is. I think so, because he's going to try to rotate. Here is Eric Murphy at the forward, Sean Huff at forward, Jared Lee at center, Sasu Salin at the guard, and Petri Koponen, whom we expected to be there at, at the guard. So Alex Murphy uh, has blended in quickly. His mother is finished. He's grown up in America. But he's joined this team this summer and, and immediately will go up against a coach, in fact, Tom Thibodeau, over there on the USA bench, the assistant. And for the USA, talented roster. Take your pick. James Harden, I guess, is the, is the real leader along with Curry. Has uh, I, would expect him, I would expect him to start. Well, you do see Curry and Harden along with Anthony Davis, Kyrie Irving, and Kenneth Farid. And, you know, coming into this tournament, you know, looking down the road, a lot of questions about experience. The USA have the youngest team, but also about that front court. If they happen to run into a Spanish national team, how are the big guys going to measure up? I mean, that's a big question, but I just, I just love how Coach K has been answering that question. He just said, well, we're ready for the next game. I don't know, for the whole World Cup. And, and then they ask him, what about the medal round? Who's going to be there with you? And he says, well, I hope we're there. Well, I think most people, as you look at the 16 appearances, the four golds, the three silvers, the four bronzes for the USA, and the first appearance for Finland, it says it all. And, and, it, and you kind of appreciate why so many Finns have made the journey to Spain. They want to be a part of this. I mean, just a basketball fever that, it, that is in Finland. Some interesting hairstyles over there amongst the Finnish fans. 
But it is an interesting fact to say that the Team USA is the youngest in competition. I think that it's not going to be so easy for them as it was in the past. You don't have the superstars of the caliber of Kobe Bryant. Carmelo Anthony, LeBron James. I mean, obviously, none of those played uh, four years ago. But this is Mike Krzyzewski, and this is the team they've brought, a terrific young team. And, and he said that this team has been working the hardest ever. And he's been there for 12 years, so he knows. He, a lot of Team USA has been through his hands, and he really gave a lot of credit to these players. Well, Henrik Detman has really uh, led the revival of uh, Finnish basketball. And he's kept the same group of guys. You get to say that. I mean, these guys have been together for a long, long time. I think they showed in Slovenia that they just really believe in one, one in each other. FIBA 